In this video, you're gonna learn about the sprite target selectable component inside the ZUI. Let's get started. The sprite target selectable component helps you sprite swap when uh, for any selectable component inside Unity when you change the theme variant. And let me show you exactly what it does. So I'm going to create a UI button. And every UI button also has a native button component. And here we have our selectable component. And we are interested not in a color tint transition, but in a sprite swap. And this is exactly what the sprite target selectable does. And let me show you right away. So. I'm going to go to add component, doozy, themes, targets, and here I'm going to select sprite target selectable. And you will notice that we have an option for the highlighted sprite, press sprite, selected sprite, and disable sprite. Note that selected sprite is not available in all the Unity versions. So it will also, it also won't be available if you're using a version prior to 2019 Point three. All right, so here I have my theme and I haven't uh, defined any sprites. So let's go here in our sprites and we're gonna need three at least. So let's say one, two, three, four. And this will be our uh, highlighted sprite. Uh, it really doesn't matter the name of the property. I'm just using this to, to um, um, make it easier on me to identify them. Then we have the pressed, press state, selected, and finally disabled. All right. And now we need to, to define some sprites. If you wouldn't have this system, you would just add them from directly here and you can change the, um, the variants. So let's just select some uh, some uh, sprites. So for the selected ones, yeah, something like that. Let's go with uh, yeah, this one. Actually, let's make it a bit obvious. All right. And Finally, let's select some wallpapers, for example. So this one for highlighted. You'll see in a second exactly what I'm doing. I'm just adding some references to the database. So we will be able to, to swap them out. All right, and finally, this will be our disabled state, for example. All right. So here I'm gonna select the highlighted one, then the pressed one, then the selected one, and then the disabled one. All right. And when we enter play mode, you will see that these will change. And when I when I um, move the pointer over the button, you will see the highlighted sprite. Now I'm going to push it. I'm going to press it. So it will be the press sprite. And then you see the selected sprite. And of course, if it's disabled, it's that one. And let me show you exactly what happened. So if we change the variants, you will notice that all the references will change. And now let's see the when I when I move the mouse over the button, this is the sprite that we're, we're going to see. So if I'm going to click it, this is the one I'm going to see. And when I let go, it will be the blue one, the selected one. And if we set the button as uh, disabled, not interactable, this is the sprite we'll see. And you can see we can also change them. So basically, you can change any of the selectable, any, any selectable um, component, you can change the uh, reference sprite. So this is what this particular component does. Of course, uh, I do not have button components, but you get the idea. This should be very easy to use. All right, that's it for the sprite target selectable. Thank you.